People think, oh, it's just a bit of water. It's not, it's so scurry. We lost everything. All of a sudden, the water came from beneath the floor. It was about here, um, in this room. Once they put that in and it was all complete, I've stopped actually checking the river when there's been, you know, a heavy downpour. So I have because I feel safe now. The impact that that has had on me and my family is unreal. So we have just flood mapping for uh, tidal for river flooding. We also have mapping produced for uh, climate change scenarios. So the climate change scenario we're looking at is uh, 2080. We're zooming into Belfast now. So this is what we're seeing for a present day scenario. If I switch on this layer, you can see how that looks in the 2080s. So the lighter color of green that you're looking at on screen here is what the predicted flood extent would be, a medium probability flood event for 2080. There's quite a bit of uh, extra flooding expected. I'm a member and a director at Belfast-based Tech Workers Cooperative that works along with social purpose organizations. Well, when you see the, the, the climate change flood map, you have vast parts of Belfast city center right up to, right up to City Hall being submerged in water during these flood events. Um, also residential communities and industrial areas as well. Our water infrastructure needs massive investment to deal with this. Said the Shimna River here in Newcastle uh, at one of our flood alleviation schemes which is currently under construction. Newcastle was identified as one of 20 significant flood risk areas. There is over 1400 meters of flood defense is currently being constructed. One of the contributing factors to the flooding was large wooded debris that got caught on the new bridge. We've incorporated this roughing grill structure. Any large bits of wooded debris would get caught and therefore they wouldn't wash on down to the to the bridge. I feel sick for them. Everything that you have in your home, everything that you've worked for, I feel so bad for people that don't have this and I don't understand why they don't. Thousands of properties that, uh, with, across Northern Ireland that, that are flood risk. And uh, with the budget we have, uh, you know, we, we can only do so much in, in trying to uh, alleviate those. So we have to prioritize uh, our spend.